What's up, man? He's still living right here. What's up? What's up? What's up? Really, I mean, I'm in the middle of, of, of the interview, right? We're not in the middle of the interview. It's going to start in like less than a minute. So you got to get back in a second. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, uh huh. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Take care of it. I'll ride with him. What's up? What's up, y'all? Y'all know what it is. It's Thought Magazine in the building. You know what I'm saying? We got a special guest, Prince Dre. He coming up in just a second. You know what I'm saying? You got Crystal. Crystal Flowers. What up with your family? In the building. What's good, brother? <laughs> Nothing much. <laughs> you already know what it is. How, how it's been for you today? Man, slow motion. Been good. Starting right now. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Same here. We on it's slow motion this way too. We got Prince Dre in the building. They go Prince Dre, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what's up? What's what up? Do? What's you know, up, man? How y'all feeling? Yes, yeah, sir. We feeling good. We feeling good. We appreciate having you, bro. Right. Oh man, it's an honor. Nah, it's an honor to be on y'all platform. I appreciate y'all. No doubt. That's much love. That's, That's much love. Yeah, I, I need I need every outlet I can get. So I definitely appreciate <laughs> it. Man, so, hey, that's already. hunger. That's hunger. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, all that, man. We appreciate the love. Uh, yeah, shout out to the cat triplet, man. We he said we in here, bro. No doubt. Appreciate Much love. It. We got three viewers kicking it in right now. What up, family? What up to all y'all? Leave comments. You know what I mean? Share. It don't cost a dime to share, man. We appreciate y'all. Y'all could have chose to do anything, and y'all chose to rock with us. So salute. Yeah, definitely right. appreciate it. No doubt. So we gonna go ahead and get into the. Uh, it's like a like we just kick it a little bit, but it's an interview. So. Prince Dre, let us know a little bit about you, man. Uh, from Arkansas, Eldorado, Arkansas, the South. You know, just been making music forever. Just hungry, you know, looking for my opportunity. Cause you not, know, I, I feel like I haven't really got my opportunity to show people what I can do. So I'm still looking for the opportunity to get in front of the masses. Yeah. So just working, just working. I probably done shot, you know, five videos this year. You know, the year just started. So just, oh, yeah. just working, man. Just working. I understand uh, hard work. I'll beat talent every time. So I got the talent, but I'm going to put the hard work behind it, too. Oh, man. Right. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, you got a lot of videos. I done seen, like I told Sis, you got a couple on a couple different platforms. I think y'all seen about 30 of them, I think. Man, I, I just be working, man. I just be working. I just shot yeah. one Friday, so I got another one for the drop. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's, that's, that's the grind. You know what I mean? Let me see. Let me move that over here. That's that's a true grinder, you know what I mean? You ain't waiting. You ain't waiting nah, for can't. it to be given. You're going and taking it. Can't. Can't. Ain't nobody going to give me nothing. I already realized that, so I, I got to go get it. So where is, wherever it's at, we got to go get it. Like, I got to be in Dallas uh, on the 5th, and we're doing South by Southwest. So I'm just trying to be everywhere I need to be. Yeah. That's yeah, South up. by Southwest. Oh, man, that's that's uh good. Well, so what you got planned? Uh, what What's going on there? You got a couple things going on down there? Yep, yeah, a couple shows, couple showcase. You know, uh, they do a whole bunch of artist showcase. So you know, I'm just trying to get on on as many stages as I can get on. You know, as in, in front of as many people as I can, because you know the whole industry gonna be there. So yeah, yeah, yeah. you never yeah. know who might see. You. So I'm just going down there and make sure I put my best foot my best foot forward. Right. Okay. No doubt, man. That's 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 the grind. I seen a couple of interviews you did. I think one of them you had went two hours to an interview. You 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 definitely uh. For us, magazines and radios, you know, we appreciate all, any artists that take it that serious. Yeah, you know see me, so, I, I enjoy doing interviews. So, I mean, a lot of people, they they get in front of the camera, they don't want to talk. This, hey, this is my highlight of the day. I've been waiting on this all day. I've been waiting on this since we booked it, so. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> what's up. Man, yeah, I appreciate nah, I, you. I, I enjoy doing interviews. I just did an interview maybe two weeks ago with uh, somebody else, so. Yeah, yeah, I enjoyed I enjoy doing interviews. I never really turned down an interview, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah, me personally, I watch a lot of interviews, and yeah, some of the artists that I know, I will watch their interviews before I listen to their music. So yeah, yeah. I know how important interviews is. Exactly, exactly. A lot of artists don't understand that point. You know what I'm saying? That uh, uh I just watched uh, off the porch before, you know, actually listening to the music of the guy. I watched the body first. Yeah, so, I'm the know, same I way. Yeah, yeah, I'm no. the exact same way. 
Like yeah. most of the time when, when a person get their momentum, I'm not going to listen to them. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I'm going to wait until whenever the time comes. And most of the time, it'd be like that. You know what I'm saying? Just random and I check him out or I watch an interview and I'm like, oh, this is the guy everybody's talking about. Let me go check his music out because his personality cool. Let me go see what the music about. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah, Chris, you got something for bro? Yeah, so when writing music or putting your music out there, what message are you trying to convey to your audience? Uh, I really make like up tempo club music, you know what I'm saying? I just want people to um have a good time listening to my music, you know what I'm saying? Like most of most of my music like it's predominantly for for the club or for the trap, you know what I'm saying? Like it just okay. it's uplifting, you know what I'm saying? In a strange way, it's to uplift people. Like we all going through stuff. Just keep your best foot forward. Keep your head up. You know what I'm saying? The next day going to come. The next day might be better than the day you got going now. So just live every day like it's your last because tomorrow might not come. And today is bad. But, man, I, I'm, a, I'm a half, I'm a glass half full type of guy than half empty. You know, so I always try to find a silver lining in whatever I'm going through. Right. So yeah. my, my music is kind of like that. Like, you know what I'm saying, man? Pick your head up. It's going to be all right. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. That's what's up. Yeah. And about uh social media. Uh, how, how important is social media? I see you on a couple platforms. I'm on TikTok too. I see you over yeah. fifty thousand on TikTok. Yeah, no. Uh, social media is important. Yeah. Go ahead. Go yeah. ahead. Oh no, I say you're on Instagram too. I didn't see your Instagram page, but uh, yeah, let them know where you, they find you on any of them social media sites. On, on all my um social media, besides, well, on Facebook is Prince Dre Jones. On um everything else besides TikTok. Is D A real Prince Dre, the real Prince Dre. Okay. Okay, I got you. Yeah. And on TikTok is Prince Dre the President. My biggest platform is TikTok. I've probably been on TikTok six, seven months. And like TikTok has been a a a, a guy sent to me. Like oh, man. man, TikTok has like opened up a whole new fan base for me. Like because yeah, you know, yeah. Arkansas only so big, we only I only can reach so many people. TikTok yeah. is worldwide. I have people from Canada and Alaska. When I go live, man, my lives be crazy. Like everybody <laughs> yeah. be tapped in. I, I love TikTok. Yeah, that's mm. what's up. I'm just trying to get me. off into it. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, yeah. hey, it, it works. See me, the thing I learned about TikTok is consistency. I be on there just about every single day. Just about yeah. every day I post something. And most days I be bored. I might post 30 videos today. You know, and mm -hmm. people just love the content. So they're going to they're gonna keep on coming back because they know they probably missed the last 15 videos I did because I did them in the last three hours because I was bored. Yeah. Right. So people going people gonna to make sure they tap in because I just try to stay cons consistent on TikTok. That's the biggest thing for me. Just got to be on there. Yeah. I seen one, uh, I think one video you went viral. I think it had about five, 600,000 views. I think it was. Uh, I, um, Man, I, I got forgot it. which one. One of my videos, man, I can do this all day, though. One of my videos <laughs> got 750,000 views, 750, and it's just yeah. like random videos. My music videos, my music videos, one of them got 300,000, one of them got 200,000. The one I just dropped, well, the last one I dropped got 30,000 in like two weeks. Other my videos where I'm responding to people, one of them got 750,000. I know one of them got 160. I know another one got 546. Like, I do I do crazy numbers on TikTok. Yeah, yeah I, I picked I it out. Yeah, I do yeah. crazy numbers on TikTok. Like, if I go to my algorithm and look in, like, the last 60 days, I probably did 20 million views. That's dope. No, I ain't got to that point, but I had one that go went 14,000. <laughs> hey, man, look, I wasn't there either. I wasn't there either. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, TikTok is definitely uh, uh, a definitely, uh, uh, avenue, a good avenue to reach so many different people. That And plus, there's a lot of uh, hip-hop, rap, you know what I'm saying, format. You know what I mean? Yeah, so. uh, yeah. That's that's really what it is. Mm -hmm. At first, see me, I didn't I didn't want to get into it because I thought it was dancing, and I can't dance at all. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I was like, I ain't really into the dancing. Then you know I said my wife convinced me to get on there, and I just got on there and just kind of explored it and checked it out. And I'm like, oh no, I can do this. You know, and yeah. now it's, oh, yeah. it's my yeah. biggest platform. It's my biggest yeah. platform. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I, I be telling. I used to inbox a couple cats when I when I heard a good dance song. I inbox my homeboy and be like, man, you need to make put it on TikTok to put, get one per get a kid to do a dance to it or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's sure to help. And it take off. Mm -hmm. It's it's yeah. probably 50 artists every year that get signed from TikTok. Yeah. From yeah. TikTok alone. We probably never hear them or we probably know the song and don't know the artist, but TikTok get people deals every single year. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's one of the main players right now. Instagram, of course, uh, mm -hmm. Facebook. Uh, Y'all check out Live Ways app too. Shout out to the homie Andres, man. Uh, just social media. So, like you telling y'all, yeah. social media is very important if you're an artist or uh, any business, especially if you handle yeah. it right, man. You reach people you never thought you would reach. Facts, oh, definitely. Yeah. So that's definitely happen. So we got uh, another question. Uh, and then since you get the next one, okay. um, videos, um, the creativity side. I mean, where you where you come from, the creative side, it just matters about the song, or you you kind of just say, okay, let's do this or this way. Who 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 creates the creativity? You or y'all do it together? It's it's originally me. I yeah. come up with everything, and then I, uh, most of the time my brother and the guy that shoot my videos, we put it together. I'm like, look, this is my idea, and my brother might be like, hey, what if this? And I'm like, oh, that sounds better. Let's do that. Or the video man might be, hey, I can do that this way. You know what I'm saying? So it's a combined effort but most of the time is me coming up with everything and then they just help me structure it yeah but yeah. i i understand i realize that videos are important too video if, if, if oh, your yeah. video for an up-and-coming artist your video can't look like everybody else because they're going to think you're like everybody else mm -hmm. and then me like i said i'm i live most of my life on youtube like if i'm in a car by myself i'm like listening to a podcast or so i'm on youtube so i just be on youtube all the time and i just happened to really run into the baby videos like before he even like just blew blew up and yeah, his videos have always been creative next mm -hmm. level and i said i'm mm -hmm. gonna start doing this that's why i got the idea to even get creative in my videos i got it from the baby because his mm -hmm. videos be extravagant so i lean towards that way because i don't want my videos to look like everybody else's mm -hmm. so and i realized that helps that really works like because oh, yeah. When I'm when I'm out in public, people tell me like I, when I did the uh, the drop the mic video, people told me don't do no more of them, bro. That ain't you. We watch mm -hmm. your videos for the story. Mm -hmm. Do that. I'm like, bet for sure. You know what I'm saying? So then lets me know people are really interested in the the scheme, the plots, the movie, the role, and all of that. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's important to me. Like I tell people, I got videos. Is I got a song called Go Ahead and a song called Whack. It's a mm -hmm. two part. It's like a it's like a mini movie. It's a two part video. Like you got to watch what part one, then watch part two. Right. Yeah, you know, so like I, yeah. I like being creative like that. Like I know when you watch my video, you might not listen to the song because you're watching the story. You know, so yeah. I'm like, mm -hmm. you gonna only get two views from one. You're gonna you're gonna watch you're gonna watch the story, then you're gonna listen to the song. So I might get two views. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. People like for you to take them on a journey, so that's a good deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's something the game been missing a lot of. Uh, everybody talking just. You know how proving how tough they is. They don't want to tell the story. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you can put it. You can tell how tough you is, but put it in a storyline with a, a plot, a ending. You know, man, mm -hmm. make, make, grab the people in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's more interesting. It's more yeah. get, get the people something to watch. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. What you got, mm -hmm. sis? You know. So, what uh, muses or heroes um, inspired you to pick up the mic? Like, who got behind you and pushed you and and saw that you was you know talented? Uh, the uh, who inspired me musically, my very first favorite rapper was Eminem. So, listening to Eminem made me want to, you know, be creative, be lyrical, say a whole bunch of crazy stuff. But my mm -hmm. brother actually pushed me to do music, like before I even really got into it. Mm -hmm. He literally used to make me rap, like we would all be in a group that would be freestyling. I wouldn't rap because I couldn't freestyle at the time. And he'd be like, your turn. I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, yes, it is. It's your turn. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He just pushed me and pushed me. And then eventually I fell in love with it. So yeah. really my brother pushed me to do it. But like after I got in it, it's, you know what I'm saying? You know, you get the bigger people that you looked up to. And now mm -hmm. like, I, I love it so much. So nobody got to push me. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. And that's surprising you. Surprising you said Eminem because a lot of people be trying to downplay him. Like they don't listen nah, to him. Him top five all the time. <laughs> I don't care what they say. He in my top five. Most definitely. <laughs> he really top three. Yeah, they yeah. so try to downplay him. Yeah, they do. They do. It's it's a white rapper. You know what they're gonna say about white rappers. Yeah, but me, yeah. I'm a different type of person, and that's what made me gravitate to him because in a world full of all black rappers, I seen a white dude. And I'm like, hey, dude, good. Yeah. And I just really yeah. started listening to him like, hey, man, they can't mess with this white dude, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they can't yeah. mess with the white boy. They can't. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah, and people we, do hate on him, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, no doubt. We we, we got the hip-hop culture is so big and expanding that we ain't the, we ain't the clan. We, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we yeah. ain't just all about 
us, but we about us first. Yeah, Should for sure. Be. We got to be because they wouldn't, they wouldn't buy us for a long time. So somebody got to put us first. Mm-hmm. No doubt. That's real. That's real. Mm-hmm. So, so when you say Eminem, uh, I know Eminem crazy writing skills. Uh, which, how long you take you do, how long it take you to do like a song uh, or write a verse or do you listen to the beat first? You know, how well the whole the structure of your writing? Um, it's 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 always different. It's it's really never the same because I could just be like doing this. I could be on Facetime with somebody and then words are just popping my head. Now, but I'm gonna call you back. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So and then I I gotta write. No beat, no nothing. It just stuff just rhyming in my head, so I have to write it down. Yeah. Or I could be listen to the beat and then go in like that. You know, so it's it's always sporadic. Or sometimes mm-hmm. I listen to the beat and I, I can't think of nothing. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I might stop, wait a couple hours and get back to it. You know, or I might stop for two, three days and then mm-hmm. it's back now. Now the spirit back. Like I tell people, it's like a rap spirit come over me sometimes. Yeah. So yeah. sometimes I'm just in my zone though. Sometimes I might yeah. write a song in 10 minutes. And it'd be yeah. a good song. It's not like I, you know what I'm saying? And, think of it because me a lot of rappers punch in i can't punch in i have to yeah, think about everything <laughs> no nah, I, I can't yeah. punch in that's not me mm-hmm. which nothing wrong with it because i know amazing rappers that punch in Man, my brain just don't work like that yeah i have definitely. to write it out you know what i'm saying to to see it if i can't see it i can't structure the bar so sometimes i might just be in my zone and i just fly through it 10 15 minutes uh like uh let me see what song i'm trying to think uh I got a song called Long Live Shitty Shine. That song probably yeah. took two days. Two days, right? Yeah, because I had a verse, and then I couldn't think of nothing. I got the hook. I couldn't think of nothing. Then I came back the last day, and then I finished it. Mm-hmm. But I got another song on my tape. My tape going to drop soon, too, probably this week. I got a song mm-hmm. called Long Live C-Mac. It probably took me 15 minutes to write that song. Yeah. Because yeah, it just came like that. Like, the last video I dropped, uh, St. Louis T, it probably took me 15 minutes to write that song. You know, it's just like the rap spirit came over me. Like, I would just listen to the beat, and it just, before I knew it, the song was done. I'm like, God, oh, yeah, let me record this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it, it just happened like that. The process is always different. But it oh, yeah, it's yeah. always writing, though. I'm never punching in. I, always, I write every single thing out. Yeah. That's, so that's one thing that's always consistent. I have to write. But the words be, they come how they come. Sometimes they come in two, three, four. Sometimes they come in a whole song. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's dope. what's up. Yeah. yeah. Same for yeah. writers. We go through that same writer's block. <laughs> yeah, it, it happens. I think, happens. I think, I think if you, because I've been doing music by 15 years. If you don't record as many songs as I have, you know what I'm saying? You're going to run out of ideas sometimes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. It, just, it just happens. And yeah, you try not to use the same words. And you hear me? Try not, yeah. try not to. Yeah, that's hard. Try not to use the mm-hmm. same words, same, a lot of stuff, you know? So, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. That so definitely the, plays a big role. With the writing, do you see yourself going any, you know, anywhere outside of rap, like venturing into like more writing, like books or anything? Uh, no, I'm not really. I'm not. I'm not a crazy. I'm not a fan of writing. I write music, <laughs> but other than that, nah, nah. Yeah. I probably look. I probably have to have somebody else write my biography. You know, autobiography <laughs> written by such and such. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah. I'm feel, ready. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, she she a write. She a writer author. I say. I'm telling you. I say that because I put my book Thug and Training up, which it was originally a song. It was like a three verse song. That's mm-hmm. why I wonder sometimes with artists, you know, that creative side. And I took a three verse song, and it was like it wasn't enough to put in the three verse, so I made it into an eighty page book. You know, yeah. when you and with your creativity of telling stories, yeah. You know, sometimes you might want to expand your verses into a you know a whole book. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm like yeah. I, like I tell people I'm long winded. You know what I'm saying? Most time when you ask me a question, my my answer might take three minutes. You never you <laughs> rarely gonna get a short answer from me. I can't help it. That's just how I am. <laughs> ain't nothing it's wrong so I understand. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Since what you got? <laughs> um so my next question will be um where do you see yourself going with your art and crafts? Like in the next five years. Uh, I mean, I'm trying to be a household name. I'm trying to make music my job. That's my goal. I'm trying to be, like I said, I, w- I want y'all to be like, yeah, we interviewed him right before he blew up. Like, that's my goal. I'm trying to be a household name. I want everybody to know him. I want to be able to do everything I need to do off of music. 
So that's my goal. Just trying to be the biggest artist I possibly can be. No doubt. That's, and that's love. I know, I, uh, you know, in Michigan, in a couple of spots, a lot, I had a couple of artists say, hey, what you need? I want to give you this. Or, and I'm like, man, just keep pushing. Just succeed. That's all I need you to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's so it, that's so that's, you already got that mentality. Trying yeah. to, because I realized a long time ago, I can't do nothing as good as I do music. And don't nothing in my life make me more happier than doing music, like working wise. You know, I got family and all that. But yeah, yeah. working wise, doing something wise, I can't do nothing as good as I do music. And if I can't do music, I feel like my life ain't going to be what I need it to be. So I have to do this. This is all I got. I got to do it. Right. That's that's 100. And that that's kind of another question that, the, you know, to, I, I always felt, you know, rapping wise was like therapy in a lot of ways. Being able to get your get what's on your mind instead of leaving on your mind, get it out to the world. Definitely, that's, that's kind of how you feel. That's that's what originally made me made me fall in love with it because it was just music. Can can my verse be better than the next person verse? But then I I found out how to put my soul in it, and I'm like, man, yeah, I need this. Like I said, I got to, I have songs that I'm never going to release. Yeah. I just needed to get that out. Get it out. Right. So I, I music is therapy. Mm. Music is definitely therapy. Yes, make yeah. you feel better. Facts make make you feel better. Cause yeah. whatever mood I'm in, I'm playing music. No matter if I'm happy, sad, mad, the music, whatever I'm playing, eventually I ain't gonna be whatever I was. While I'm gonna be happy at the end of the day, get some music <laughs> going. My, my whole mood changed. I don't okay. even remember what I was mad at. Man, exactly. Do I it feel for the you soul. on that. I Do definitely feel you on that. You know, I used to punch. I used to cut the lights off and. You just vibe and you might tear up or something, but at the end you're gonna be like, "Ha!" Ah. I needed that. That <laughs> yeah. felt good. I'm telling right. you, that right. feels that good. Feel That's good. all that matter, man. Whatever do you gotta do it. You gotta do whatever you need to do to get to the next day. Everybody yeah. process ain't the same. So hey, man, if you need to cry, I don't judge people. Cry. Yeah. I, yeah. I got a partner that I got a couple partners that pulled up. We chopping up and they start crying. Yeah. Am I gonna ever tell somebody that? No, I'm mm -hmm. never even gonna bring that up to them. Man, and that, and that's real because you know most artists or it's always I don't care if it's Michael Jackson, uh, Prince. Most artists, if it's something going on, is sometimes when you got creative ability like that, it's something going on too mentally, and a lot of times yeah. you need it to protect your mind state. You know, yeah, how do you, exactly. Because mental mental issues is strong, so everybody yeah. got to have some way to some you know what I'm saying, mentally prepare themselves because. Like I tell everybody, at the end of the day, you got to be able to prepare yourself because if you're depending on somebody else to keep you mentally sane, if that person not there, then what you going to do? Right. So you got to find some way to keep yourself mentally sane. Like, like I'm married. I don't mm. depend. I don't depend on my wife to make sure I'm happy, though. She does. Mm. I appreciate it. But if she don't, I know how to make my own self happy. And there I feel like know. everybody just needs to do that, you know, because that person yeah. might not be there someday. Or whatever the case may be, you need to be able to pick yourself up. True. That's true. That's true most indeed. definitely true. Y'all are hearing it. Put on my life coach hat for that one. Well, yeah, you most definitely mm -hmm. have to <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be able to make real. yourself happy because you know nowadays people be looking for other people to you know feel they be, boys and make they them really, happy. They really be looking for other things. Yeah, yeah. That's yes. what it be, and oh, then when. Yeah. Because I'm a person that I thought, once you get this, you're going to be happy. When I was mm. broke, I'm like, oh, once you get some money, you're going to be happy. Man. The, probably two years ago, I made the most money I ever made in my life. And that was one of the hardest years I ever had. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So I understand mm -hmm. when people say money don't bring you happiness. Yes, it's it good to have money when you're depressed. Because if you depressed and broke, that makes it seven <laughs> times worse. <laughs> right. Yeah. But True. money ain't going to, if you, if you got a hole in your heart, money ain't going to fill that hole. Ooh. No, it ain't. Nah. It's gonna bring you more problems too, because then you're gonna, gonna have people coming out begging and all the other kind of stuff. Yeah. It seems like you're gonna get more bills too. More bills, <laughs> yeah. man. That's right. <laughs> that's true. Remember that's back true. in college, you owe this class. <laughs> man. Yeah. Man, man, I'm still paying student loans. <laughs> oh my goodness. So y'all hearing it? Y'all hearing wise words from Prince Dre, the president? Y'all check him out. Y'all social media: Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, almost anywhere, just type in Prince Dre the president, or I think what you say, yeah, say the other one was Dre, Dre the uh, president. The real, the real the Prince real Dre, Dre or Prince Dre the president on Facebook is Prince Dre Jones, though. 
Yeah. Or you know, go to go to uh, your your Safari or your Google and just type yeah. Dre, the president. You'll yeah, yeah, for sure. Everything will pop up. I'm I'm Googleable now. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he said I'm Googleable. Yeah. I'm Googleable. Yeah. Okay, look, put that on the. You see all his interviews. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, that's a good idea. Put that on the T-shirt. I'm Ooh, Googleable. That's a good Googleable. idea. That's a good idea. See, I done made you ten dollars right then. <laughs> ten, a thousand. <laughs> I'm telling my 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 one of my best friends make T-shirts. So hey, that's one phone call away. Yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm swear I'm telling him that. Yeah, you need that I'm Googleable, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. I, I need my three percent. Yeah, I'm Googleable. <laughs> Y'all heard it here first. <laughs> hey, what, what, what about the merch and, uh, and, and merch and stuff like that? Uh, merch business cards. How about the business, the music business? We heard about the music. What strides are you making in the business side? Oh, I've been I've been on the business side since just about day one because you know we we all heard the horror stories about signing bad deals and I always wanted to understand why would people sign a bad deal. So I've been trying my best to learn every single step of the way. So yeah. I I I can't say I know everything, but I ain't no spring chicken. I done been around a couple corners. So I'm yeah. the business side is more important than the music because it's the music business. Yeah. If you yeah. don't got your business right, then nothing else really matter. You can make a song, but if your business right and right, you can get one check out for it. This song generated a billion dollars. You got fifty thousand dollars though, because your business went right. Yeah. So I, I I always try my best to stay on top of the business side. I oh, ain't no. I ain't doing no paperwork without me and my people reading it. Yeah. I need I need a um second opinion for sure. Yeah. Do you got a manager? No, nah, I don't have I had one, but now I'm solo right now. Okay. So if the manager watching this right now, reach out to him. You know what I mean? If if, if the number's right, you know what I'm saying? And you push. If you can help me get to the next level. If you can help me get to the next level, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. But right now, I ain't even. Right now, I'm not focusing on the manager because I understand that you got to give the manager something to manage. I'm not doing enough for a manager right now. You know what I'm saying? If I if I had book shows and labels was calling, then it would be different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But right now, I'm not really focused on the manager. But I also well, understand. Uh, well, they, they can get show. you that. Yeah. Right. I was just going to say, I understand a manager can get me to the next level. Yeah, but it has yeah. to be the right man or woman. We got to have mm-hmm. the right connects. I just don't want you to be my manager so you can say you're managing me. Yeah. Most yeah. Definitely. I feel you gotta that. Got to do your research on them. Yeah, for yeah. sure. For sure. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, I see Niket Ghost, Niket Triplett said TikTok info a little while ago, but I hope you heard it on there. Prince Dre the President on TikTok. Yeah, Prince Dre the so, President on TikTok. Mm-hmm. Yeah, check him yeah. out on there. I'm definitely um, gonna be on the ticket. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Um, what you you got something for him, sis? Or yeah, yeah, I, I got another one. So, how do you see the world um, due to the influence of your background? Especially like when you make your music, do you base hello. it off of like your childhood coming yo, up? Hello, like yo, hold on, yo. Your mic kind of messing up. Yeah, I can't yeah. really coming. T- you went out. Can you hear me now? Yeah, it's still kind of messed up. Oh, you can't hear. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Dre, so can you hear me? Can you hear me? I, I can hear you, but it's like it's like a, a a reverb or something on it. It's oh, kind of okay. distorting it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't hear, but let me see. I. Say it can again. You, can you hear me? I can. I can hear you, but it, like I said, it sounds like like a heavy reverb is on your voice, and I can't really. Uh, I can hear some words, but I can't one hundred percent make out everything. Yeah, shake your shake your mic, sis. I love it. Yeah. You good? How about now? Can you hear me? Do I? Can you okay, hear you me, good. bro? I'm you good. good. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, we good now. I had it propped up. It was probably leaning on it. But my question mm-hmm. was, how uh, how do you see the world due to the influence of your background, as far as when it comes to music? Um, how do I see the world based off my background? Like, yeah. how do I see the, the world based on how I grew up? Right, like the influence of your your background when you make music. Like, say, like. Me, I grew up on 10th and LaPierre, so I seen the Dope Boys, I seen the Gambling, I seen the Killings, I seen, you know what I'm saying? So okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's it's 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 everything. Then you know what what I rap about is what I grew up going through and going and seeing. So mm-hmm. 
I feel like, you know, my background, my past, it, it's what made me today. I needed these stories to make music about them. If I wouldn't have went through that stuff, I wouldn't have nothing to talk about. You know what I'm right. saying? We, I feel like the best artists have lived a little. They've been around a couple of corners. They've done a couple mm -hmm. of things or they know people that have. You got to have some type of reference to make a song. That's how I feel. If you're going to yeah. if I'm going to talk about some hood stuff and I'm hood, you're going to know it. When you listen to the song, you're like, he, he, yeah, he done been around a couple of corners before. Right. So you you got to have that experience or whatever, whatever you talking about, whatever you grew up doing. That's probably going to be the best music because you probably you know can speak the best about that. Mm -hmm. So my, my background is is everything when it comes to music. Yeah. Yeah. Dope, dope. And what about uh features? Uh, you do a lot of features. I've seen a couple. I think you feature your brother. You know, I think then you and yeah, and I, I, I don't do I don't do a you know, lot of features, features on my music. See, growing up when I when we first started, it was a lot of us. And then when I started branching out doing my own music, a lot of my fans told me they don't like hearing other people on my songs. Mm. So I just like got used to doing a lot of songs by myself. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah, that so most of the time on um, when I drop is going to be me and probably my brother. It ain't going to mm. be a whole bunch of people on, on you know, so just close mm. friends. That's going to be mm. on. Like, on my tape that I'm going to drop is just my brother and uh, 20 Glock. And that's, he like my brother too, so you know mm. what I'm saying? I don't really do a lot of features. And if I do do features, I'm charging. I ain't mm. doing no more free features. <laughs> yeah. I ain't it doing no more free features. It sounds like I got you got to. A you said it like you got a reason for it. Uh, what was the reason? Uh, I don't put blood, sweat, and tears in it, yeah. and I don't put a, a whole bunch of money in it. Yeah, I don't put a whole bunch of money in it. I'm not. When I get on your song, I'm not gonna play on your song. When I get on your song, it's mine now. Right. And I know a lot of verses I done did on people's songs. They didn't ever drop the song. <laughs> we didn't ever shoot a video, and that irritates me because my yeah. verses be crazy. I love doing features because I feel like my yeah, best my best verses are my features. So when people don't pull out mm -hmm. my features, that drives me. So if I'm gonna get on your beat and destroy your song and you're not gonna put it out, you gotta pay me. <laughs> you gotta pay me. Right. Because I'm, I'm giving my all on these songs. Yeah, you, you just wasting my time and my brain power. I could have been playing with my daughter. I could have been playing yeah. with my son. Yeah, right. 100 all. I agree. I feel you on that. Yeah, yeah. I got I, I gotta get something. I, Cause like I said, I, I done did too much. Like I said, I buy all my beats. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm paying people to, to mix and master. So, nah, I need me. I need yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I feel you on that. I knew I heard it in your voice. I knew it had to be a little backdrop to it. <laughs> I knew it had to be a little backdrop. So, like, I feel you on that because a lot of times features, they feature and you like, what a, what a song is. Why you ain't never, you just kept it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that make me mad, bro. Like now, I tell people, if you want to work with me, we gotta agree to do the video. If we not trying to shoot a video, then I don't want to do the song. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. both need that look. We both need that look. I need be. to be on somebody else just because I enjoy doing features. I need that look to make it look like I'm working on top of my own videos. I'm trying to make other people drop, so it's gonna look like I'm dropping every day. So yeah. we both need this look. And then with me working consistent, if you get beside me, they're going to say, he must be serious, too. Because we know he ain't working with nobody that ain't serious. Mm -hmm. So we both need this look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I agree. I agree. I mean, Most definitely. I, I feel you. A lot of people get or a lot of features. We do it just for the fun of it or something. But, you know, when you when you you really trying to do something and you really want to go there and you see they ain't, it, it's kind of like, wow, man, why I do that? Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. You hear me? It's like, eh. I could do the feature, but why? Yeah. I could put this same verse on one of my songs. Yeah. So like you That's say, how you say I look at it. I don't like having throwaway verses, man. I work too hard on these verses. Yeah. So I, I feel you that you ain't saying that I don't do features, but if you're gonna do a feature with me, we gotta be on the same level business wise. You gotta be you basically gotta put it out, you gotta go grind just like I'm a grind for it. Most definitely. If yeah, yeah. Because I'm, I'm, I'm gonna gonna promote the song like it's mine. I might share the song more than you do. <laughs> exactly. So yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? Let's 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 both push this song like it's the last song we're gonna record. Cause that's how I'ma do it. Yeah. Yeah. I feel you. I definitely feel you on that. Oh uh, man, we gonna we also want to talk about the the SXSW the uh show coming up. I think it's what uh it's like in next month, I think March. Uh huh, think March 18th. Yeah. So what they got 18th right and now, the 19th. 18th and 19th. 19th. Uh 
So what you doing performing? How many songs you got? Got your set or how it's um, going? How they put talking yeah, about just, it? I just got I got like a six minute set, a five minute set, a four minute set, and I think that's all I got. I think I just got three. So you got three sets? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, a four, five, and a six. Okay, okay, that's dope. Mm -hmm. That's dope. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, how did that come about? Um. Just just knowing people, just networking, just networking and knowing people, seeing people that's already going to because a lot of people that like throw events, they're going to everybody want to have a event at South by Southwest because that's like one of the biggest hubs of the year. Oh, yeah. So yeah. just knowing people that throw events year round and then, you know, what I'm saying being uh, had a relationship with these people and going through that, going to the other events and stuff like that. They just invited me out. Like, hey, I got a uh, South by Southwest. If you want to come out, I sure do. I will be there. <laughs> no doubt. You hear me? No doubt. I will be there. No, no <laughs> question. Why would you no even question. ask? Just tell me to come. Because right. I was supposed to be going to South by last year and I missed it. I said, hey, look, if I don't go this year, I ain't going to be living. That's the only way I'm missing it. I died. That's the only way. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way. <laughs> yeah. Tell me. So we're going to be there. No matter yeah. what, we're going to be there. So y'all get up. ready, man. If y'all going to South by Southwest, Y'all check him out. Make sure y'all reach out and go, and go find him. You know what I mean? And say, hey, we support Prince Dre, the president. Right. You know so I'm mean? going to appreciate it. Yeah. I'm going to appreciate it. I love performing. You know, it's going to be energy when I get off the stage. I'm going to be sweating. I'm going to be tired. So come come yeah. see me. I, I always put on the, my best show like it's my last show. I'm telling I'm going to be tired because I'm going to be up there jumping and stomping and everything. So I try yeah. my best to put on a good show. Like, like interviews. I love performing. I love interviews. So. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, it's just something I enjoy doing. No doubt. No doubt. That's what's up. Yeah, I got, so, I got, oh, oh, no, go ahead, sis. What you got? So my question was, I was going to ask, besides social media, like, what's your marketing plan? You know, back in the day, coming up in our time, like bro used to say, you have to hand out CDs and kind of beat the street. Do you still kind of incorporate mm -hmm. that in your, um, your success or your way gotcha. of marketing? Okay. Yes, got to. See, this time around, I'm I plan on just um getting some flyers, going post them in uh multiple cities. Um of course I'm gonna have CDs. And then it's like a billboard, it's like little billboards around the city. I'm trying to get a billboard, you know. I'm just trying to get it in everybody's face, you know what I'm saying? I got a partner, I got a, a brother that stay in Houston. I'm gonna send him some flyers, tell him put them up at the stores and stuff where he lives. And mm -hmm. that's my plan, just make getting a whole bunch of flyers, posting flyers everywhere, trying to get some billboards. I'm gonna have CDs. Yeah. So yeah, that's of course yeah. groundwork is important. That's hand to hand. That's that's personal. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Social media on... is, it ain't Social media ain't personal. It's personal, but it ain't personal. Hand to hand mm -hmm. is personal. People gonna remember if you gave them your CD rather than they downloaded it. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's one hundred. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I want to uh, question about. Uh, we're gonna switch it up just a little bit. Um, Arkansas, the Arkansas music scene. I know more about the Michigan music scene than I do the Arkansas music scene. Uh, how how do you feel or do you feel it can be better or is it you know is it there or is it getting there the arkansas music scene i feel as like far as i artists. feel like we can be i feel like we can be more supportive as artists but we finally have a market now we never had an arkansas market but now we have yeah. a market we got vloggers we got interviewers like we got radio stations we got signed artists now you know mm -hmm. so now our market is is good i think is now you know everybody crabs in a bucket mentality like nobody wants to support like bankroll is bankroll was the first artist to sign yeah. and people didn't want to support him yeah you know like wow. come on now he kicked the door off the house for us oh, forget yeah. opening yeah. the door he kicked, kicked the it. door off the house oh, yeah. why wouldn't you want to support him even if you don't like the music yeah right. sure Exactly. That's like share it, even if you don't like it. Like let's mm -hmm. let's champion our champions. Yeah. I, we don't I like you. Big Fizz and them just got signed. We don't know if they would have got signed if yeah. Bankroll didn't get signed. Know. We don't know if other people would have got signed if Bankroll didn't get signed because it haven't happened yet. There you go. All we know is real. he got signed. Now Arkansas popping. So yeah. we give him that, and some people just don't want to give him that because yeah. you know. Which it has been people that have been around the longer and all of that, but you know, ain't nobody got no major deal. 
Mm-mm. So I feel like we just, I think it's, we got to support our own more. Yeah, yeah. But and I agree. the music scene is finally a scene now. It wasn't a market for a long time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I seen that too when I got here. I got here about six years ago from Michigan. And I didn't really see it like that. I seen everything going really through Little Rock if you was going to have anything going. And I think Bank uh, Bankroll came out and busted in right around that time. And he had the, he had the, all the money and he had the Arkansas and he was like, you know, he's bringing attention to Arkansas. So, mm-hmm. and I think right now, like you said, you got Big Fizzle, you got Ed Dolo, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Work Nation out there. Uh, 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 <laughs> That's D-Dirt. my guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout Work, out. Uh, Dirk, 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 my kinfo, we can somehow on down the line. Work Nation, mm-hmm. that's my dog. DJ Style, that's my dog. Like, yeah, that's who be shooting yeah. out my videos. Dude, a monster. Like, yeah. multi-talented. You can do everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. I seen that, too. My brother put me on him years ago. Uh, I think when he wrote for Kevin Gates. Uh, did you hear me? For Kevin Gates, yeah. So, mm-hmm. you know, Arkansas always had something going on. But like you said, as far as signed artists, uh, it was a struggle, but you know, it was behind the scenes. A lot of cats was putting in work, but the collective wasn't yeah. there. It was too separated. Yeah. yeah, they they had the keys to the door. They was yeah. they was tugging on the door. They was trying to open the door. Bankroll came and kicked the door off the house. Yeah, yeah. When you get QC to look at you, and then he start, and then I think Ed Dolo signed like right after, and then he had Arkansas all all of his guys from Arkansas, Helena. You know, West Helena, they with QC. All that. Bankroll, yeah. his manager is the dude that got the uh, label in uh, Little Rock. Yeah, yeah. And his, now he done signed somebody. That's yeah, Bankroll, manager, bro. That's yeah. that's off the strength of him. That's what he did. You know, mm-hmm. like, we, we just got to champion our champions. Yeah, and I agree because he, he his manager, I think, uh, even got Rennie Rucci right after and got uh, Duke Deuce, I think, too, at managing. So, you know. Yeah, I think after, so. Yeah, after bankroll, he, 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 his part, his started when you, you know, hear me took off, yeah. took off, and then <laughs> yeah. bankroll ain't just bankroll could have got on went to Atlanta and said, you know, f Arkansas, I ain't gotta. He put people on. Come on now, yeah, man. Come on now. Most people when they got when they first would have got on, they want to look back and help nobody. Yeah, yeah. That's and, and that I, guy allowing the right person to get on. Yeah, and right. I feel it. I feel it in your voice because like any artist. When you're doing your artistry and you see somebody else get there, you don't want to be hating on it. You want to feel like, man, when I do it, I want people to support me. So why am I hate right now? That's right. exactly how I feel. Yeah. One thing about me, no matter what, nobody ain't going to ever say, man, yeah, he used to hate on me. Because at one point I shared everybody in the city music. Everybody, not in the city, everybody from Arkansas music. Yeah. Music I never heard. People I don't know if you're from Arkansas, I'm sharing your music. So I I support everything Arkansas. Yeah. I don't got a hate bone, a piece of a hate bone in my body. I want everybody to win because that's going to make the state look good. If we got mm-hmm. one popping artist, that's good. But if we got 10, that's amazing. Right. Yeah. If it's 10 popping artists, now. you hear me? If it's 10 popping artists, that means it's at least 50 people. It's 50 jobs that have been created. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. People yeah. helping people. You know, yeah, it could have been another label. It could have been another super label that done popped up somewhere because these signed artists helped this person start a label. Like, yeah. the more the yeah. merrier. That's enough money out here for everybody. Yeah, they print it every day. It. You got to think about it. You know, not just the artist. You got to think the, think about the producer that got put on, the manager, uh, right. uh, DJs, security. Uh, dancers, you hear security. Me? A lot of All people that. come behind it. Yeah. All that. Yeah, yeah, that that yeah. one move just changed ten people' life. At least, mm-hmm. yeah. At yeah. least, you know what I mean. If it's ten of us, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's the yeah. whole. That's that's a different look, you know. Mm-hmm. I like when I first got on TikTok. I tell people I'm from Arkansas. They be like, "What? I didn't even mm-hmm. know black people lived in Arkansas." Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, black people lived in Arkansas. What do y'all yeah. think we are, bro? Like, so. But but to the outside, that's what a lot of the rep was that's you know they think they think Bill we Clinton still living in the wild wild west riding horses and straw hats <laughs> and stuff like honestly this is what people tell me on tiktok <laughs> so yeah. like but if we had 10 popping artists they're like now nah, y'all see what the arkansas dudes doing <laughs> y'all see what right. they on bro they got everything we got yeah yeah yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. the motor yeah. 
And what I I, I kind of liked about it, it was that like like with your word and the same way. See, I'm in Michigan. Most time we gonna say by cities, Saginaw, Flint, Detroit. You know what I'm saying, Lansing or so. But when y'all, when I was talking to most Arkansas artists, they say Arkansas. You might hear about West Helena and Camden and Crossing, but when it's artists, they say Arkansas. It ain't Back. by city, 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 or side to side. Mm-hmm. But most of the time, people do that. It ain't because like people repping the whole state. It might seem like that. We know if you ask me where you from, and I say El Dorado, they gonna say. Where is that? <laughs> so I might as well just eliminate that question. Eliminate. So I'm just telling you Arkansas. You know Arkansas. It don't matter what city I'm from because you don't know no way. I'm from Arkansas. Oh, we get that same thing. They be like, Saginaw. What is a yeah. Saginaw? Detroit? <laughs> you hear me? Oh, I just tell you something you will know. Yeah. Right. I said Arkansas. If I say Arkansas, they gonna say, "Oh, you banging in Little Rock, huh?" You hear me? Are you from Little Rock? No, I'm not from Little Rock. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So Man. that's what that be. I'm, I'm gonna just tell you Arkansas because I ain't got time to answer your follow up questions. Right. Because <laughs> it's coming. The whole... Yeah, they definitely coming. <laughs> they come yeah. every time, so I know to expect them. They coming. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Man, that's that's one hundred though. We all gonna get those those kind of questions. It seems so. You know, how do you feel like, because I know Arkansas and Memphis kind of like got a good connection to with bankroll, especially, you know what I'm saying? Is it like a connection with, you know, the cities close to Arkansas around like Louisiana, the states right around? Do y'all you know? It, it depends it, on it depends on what part of the state you live in. You know, the South, we connected to, to Louisiana, but I'm an elder I don't I'm not connected to Memphis because Memphis is four hours away. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I might Little feel Rock like more. I'm more connected to Little Rock because that's a, a hop and a skip away. That's how yeah. they is to Memphis. So mm-hmm. I feel like it's more so like that with the people that's closer to Memphis. Like us down here, we don't really feel no type of way about Memphis. It ain't no hate, mm-hmm. but it ain't no, you know what I'm saying? It's just another city to us. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some people know, like Memphis, my second home. Like we don't feel like that in the South. Yeah. 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 It's more be like Shreveport, my second home. Shreveport, right around the corner. Yeah, you know I feel that West Monroe, Monroe. Yeah, yeah you I'm hear me? Going. That's 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 closer to us right there. Exactly. Yeah, I feel you on that. Yeah, and that's where I'm gonna go most of the time. That's an hour away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I just I just went to um um what is it? The seafood place down there. Uh, Crawfish City. Mm mm mm. Um, uh, laughing crab. Yeah, mighty, mighty crab. crab. Mighty, mighty crab. crab. Oh yeah, yeah, they yeah. It too. Yeah, yeah, that's my spot. That's my spot. <laughs> Love it. I'm telling yeah. we. I take that little hour and a half drive, little hour and fifteen minutes. <laughs> Say Just, that good? Yes. yes. Yeah, oh yeah, it's the it's this this truth. It's I'm saying it's worth it. I'm the talking. See, about, I ain't going nowhere else but there and back. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Drive an hour and a half for food. Hey, it's that yeah, good. Ain't lying. We do the same thing. I wish we could cur- combine the 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 volume, the quality, the quantity that mm-hmm. um, Crawfish City got. With the flavor that uh, Mighty Crab got, cause they put it yeah. in a bag and you had a whole flavor. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah, I, I, I ain't never, I ain't never been to Crawfish City. I'm gonna have to check them out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they right. They ain't too far from there. You know what I'm saying? It's like a couple, like a couple miles. They right, like, like the same area. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try them out. We be bored, yeah. just want to go get food sometime. And All that's right. the place to go. You know what I mean? That's what mm-hmm. we get up. So yeah, I already yeah. know. Yeah, we don't yeah. got nothing here. <laughs> <laughs> Got nothing here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and it's it's slowly some things growing in El Dorado, but it's it, it's like you said, it's food wise, it's some spots you go to, but sometimes you just be like, oh, I'm gonna take that hour. Yeah, right. you hear me? And we get burnt out on because all the slick food spots, you know, we 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 try to save them, but you can only save them so much. You get burnt out yeah. on them too. Yeah, yeah. every day. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. it might yeah, be I- once a week. Then it be like, man, I want some good, and I probably ate it three times this week. Might not eat it again for a month, but within yeah. that month, I still want something that's amazing that just make my taste buds scream. Exactly. I might have to go to Louisiana for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, and you may. Know that- and that's what makes it so good too, because usually when I go, I'm gonna drop something off. I'm gonna drop a shirt or something, usually a pin or something. Uh, yeah, for so sure. it's good for promotion too. I don't never do that, up. but I need to start doing that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wherever you you know what, when I when I first started doing the magazine, that was the hype magazine, it was like 2005, and I went to a place to get the magazine printed, and my guy was like, Hey, uh, what you do? I'm like, Yeah, I do a magazine. He's like, uh, let me get a business card or something. I'm like, uh, I ain't get uh, uh. <laughs> you know what yeah, I'm saying? So I, I feel you. I feel you. 
So I know I learned to always keep something with me. You know right. what I'm saying? Uh, in case somebody it. asks me right there, I can be like, ha, there you go. Here you, you go. Gotta, you thought I was lacking. Nope. Card. Nope. Did right. you go, know, pop, pop. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they got a QR code on it, so scan your phone on it, take you right to the website. Right. Yeah, so yeah, that's I definitely mean, good. That'll be definitely good for you. Any artist, you know what I mean? Just, you know, put the couple business cards in your uh, wallet. And when you hit a spot, you know what I'm saying? If somebody look at you, what you do? And be like, I rap. Oh, for real? What, 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 what can I get? find you at? I ain't even got to say nothing. Here you go. Bam. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, I was yeah. waiting on you to ask. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> waiting on you at the door. Say dough. less. You heard me. I was waiting. <laughs> <laughs> say less. Yeah, we, we done hit 52 minutes. Uh, man, we got three people rocking with us still. We appreciate y'all. Anybody that's listening, we seen a couple more. We got six hearts and some, some likes. So we appreciate that. If y'all can uh, share the live. Uh, yeah. Man, uh, support. You know what I mean? It don't cost a dime to share. We appreciate y'all first off and foremost. You know what I mean? You're rocking with Prince Dre, the president, Thaw Magazine, Crystal, and Jay Jack. Man, look, I appreciate Thaw Magazine, man. Check it out. Prince Dre, the, Prince Dre, the president. Go to TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, anywhere YouTube, you can. YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music. We on everything. We on everything. We on so, everything. If, if they got music on there, we on there. No doubt. No doubt. Uh, Before we go off, Chris, you got something else you want to ask me before we uh get ready? Um, sure, sure. So in what way do you aim to make a difference in your movie, in your music? I'm sorry, going forth with your new projects. Um, the music, not so much. Like it's because I make rowdy hood trap music, you know what I'm saying? But the person I am and the music, it's the same person, but it's not the same person. Because like I said, my my message in my music is turn up, have fun. But my message in life is to be careful, watch yourself, love yourself, learn yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a different message from the music and from the person. You know, so I want everybody just to be cautious. You know, mm -hmm. love your parents, love your friends, love people. You know what I'm saying? It's, every time I leave my brother or my friends, it's all right, bro, love you, bro. And we, I might see him again in two hours. You know what I'm saying? But I might not. Yeah. I have... I have a brother. I have two brothers. Well, they they really my cousins, but they like brothers. I yeah. seen my brother. Thirty minutes later, he got killed. We passed mm -hmm. each other like this walking. Thirty minutes later, they called me and said he got killed. Damn. Mm -hmm. Same thing with another brother. He called me at eight o'clock. He got killed at ten o'clock. Damn. Mm -hmm. They tomorrow's not promised. So oh, just man. just live your life. Be careful. Be cautious. Find your purpose. Everybody was put here for a reason. Find your purpose and do that. You know, love yourself and just enjoy life, man. Like, like I tell people all the time, life too stressful to be stressed out every day. So Ooh, just right. find the silver lining. Like, just just be happy, love yourself, live life. That's that's my message as a person. My message yeah. in the music is, you know, turn up, <laughs> let's go, right. let's get it, let's right. go, let's get it. Yeah. Right. But behind <laughs> that person is a humble, peaceful person. Facts. Facts. <laughs> Yeah, I tell yeah. people all the time, I'm 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 a humble, peaceful gangster. Mm -hmm. Don't I? I don't want to have to do nothing to nobody. Yeah, but man. I definitely will. Yeah, that's most I most of us. Will. Yeah, that's most yeah. of us feeling. You know, what I mean, you might see the music and you're gonna play that three minutes and figure that's my whole life. Nah, mm -hmm. uh, it's I'm, entertainment too, though. It's just a piece. Mm -hmm. right. It's entertainment. I know what they want to hear. I know what because mm -hmm. I know what I want to hear. So yeah. I'm I make music for I can't say for people like me because people that's not like me at all like my music you know what I'm saying but I'm just I'm just making music the way I know how you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. and the, and the most people that understand my music it kind of come from where we from mm -hmm. yeah yeah I agree you know you, you see it a lot of times you know uh, I always used to think too a lot of times when I rap. You know, what I mean, I walk out my house. I'm gonna see po prostitutes. I'm gonna see shootings, and I'm a. I don't want to always rap about it, but it just comes out. You know, yeah, you know, it's, it's natural. <laughs> yeah, see, a lot of times I'll write a song, and I'll be like, "This too the same. Let me do something else," and then I I'll rewrite it, or I yeah. just them bars is. Uh, uh I gotta put. Let me put some peaceful in here. Let me put a good message in here. You know, yeah. so I, I do do that. Like in my songs now, in this new tape, I'm talking about NFTs and crypto and stocks because that's the type of stuff Grown I'm into man. now. 
Yeah, you know, so, yeah. so I'm like, let yeah. me throw that in there. Let me just mm-hmm. not pay people think I'm some rowdy black guy that just do crazy stuff. <laughs> right. You feel me? Let me <laughs> let me let y'all know that I'm smarter than I look. Like I tell people, I know I fit the description. I got diamond teeth. I got dreads. <laughs> I got tattoos. I know mm-hmm. I look like I came out here to rob people. I didn't though. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Say relax, y'all. Right. Yeah, like I know when I meet people and I, yes, ma'am, yes, sir. Like yeah. people be like taken back, like my God, like did this? He just say yes, ma'am. Like, yeah. and I and I see the reaction all the time, and I tell people sometimes, like some people tell me, like you don't gotta say ma'am to me. Yes, I do. Right. I can't yeah. help you. You gonna get this respect whether you want it or not. I'm going to respect you. Right. Yeah, yeah. I got, I, I got. I was a culture shock a little bit here. My even my wife said it was like, damn, did you hear? You like, yes, ma'am. Or you tell my wife, yes, ma'am. You like. You hear that little dude? Look like he finna go rob. He finna go rob somebody for a bike or something. You think? You hear me? You know what I mean? You know what Nothing but manners, yeah. though. I know people yeah. tell me all the time, "Your son is so well mannered." Yeah, we teach that because mm-hmm. respect gonna get you farther than anything in life. No matter what yeah. you got, if you respect somebody, gonna always remember that. Because most exactly. kids and most black people come at the other opposite race or just older people with disrespect, so they're expecting it. When yeah. I come and be respectful, they remember me instantly because I was the respectful kid. Right. Exactly. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I feel like, you know, America, I'm uh, always thinking about mental health, especially, but America put a lot of them issues on us to where we always on a, on a defense. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, inside, you know, hey, I'm going to give you respect until you don't you don't deserve it no yeah, more. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. For sure. Because I ain't, you're not going to disrespect me because something I did. Cause yeah. so when I react, it ain't gonna be, hey, well, you did this. I respected you first. You disrespected me. I handled it. That's how yeah. it's gonna always be. I'm never gonna offend. I'm never gonna try to offend nobody first because I didn't come here for a problem. I came here to get some money. Like mm-hmm. we, I did all that problem stuff growing up. I'm over there. Like mm-hmm. let's get mm-hmm. rich. And then talk to me after I get rich. That's my mission right now. Right. Exactly, but we ain't buying. We ain't buying a disrespect. You might nah, see you me. ain't gonna disrespect me. You ain't gonna disrespect <laughs> me though. Like I said, just I'm gonna be respectful, and then we just leave it at that. I'm saying yeah. I'm gonna be respectful though. Yeah. All right, that's no doubt, man. Uh, Prince Dre, man, we going we got to get ready to end this, but we appreciate you coming. I uh, appreciate y'all. With all, man. Much appreciate love. That. Y'all have a y'all have a blessed night. Uh, but before we leave, uh, go ahead. And what you want to tell them? I know you don't speak to speak to a lot of um. Uh, a game to them, you know what I'm saying? But anything you want to leave the fans with, anyone you leave the watchers, supporters, uh, anything you want to leave them with that we might didn't cover or just you just want to say it again and let them know before yeah, we uh, end it? I'm also, I'm also, Facebook, Prince Dre Jones on Facebook. DA, Real Prince Dre on everything else besides TikTok. On TikTok, it's Prince Dre the President. Uh, I'm about to drop my tape any day now, Agent 004. I got music on spotify apple and everywhere like i said if it's music on there we on it prince dre the president look me up on anything and i appreciate it leave a comment good or bad i take bad criticism if you don't like the music let me know because i probably direct you to a song you do like so just check out the music and i appreciate everybody for watching i appreciate y'all for having me on your platform man we appreciate you and we appreciate everybody watching uh that's watching now what that's gonna watch later uh, that's even listening, just listening on the speaker. We appreciate y'all uh, mm-hmm. support from Arkansas to Michigan. You know, sagging on the building. Got it. We got us sagging on the building. El Dorado strong. Uh, man, Little Rock, Pine Bluff. Much love to all everybody around. Uh, again, Rock with Prince Dre, the president. Thought Magazine. We appreciate y'all. Y'all could have did anything in the world right now. Y'all chose to rock with us, so we appreciate oh, y'all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No doubt. We gonna go ahead and get on up out of here. Uh, Crystal, you got anything you want to leave him with? Oh no, that's that's it. He had he gave him a word today. I don't want to flood it, cause but he didn't gave <laughs> he didn't drop some words on him today, baby. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank no you. doubt, yeah, no doubt, I'm man. It's an honor that. and a pleasure. All right, y'all. Peace. Shout peace. out, Prince Dre, the president. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.